Okay, we're back again. Uh, and today I've got some arts and crafts. I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and easy template so that as you're installing curtain rod brackets uh, over your different various windows that you'll be installing them on, you can have them all uniform, all level, all straight, and also take a lot of the guesswork out of the process. This template we're gonna make is gonna line up with the corners and the edges of your window and then give you two easy spots where you'll need to pre-drill your holes for anchors or screws or whatever system you might be using for mounting. So first thing you're gonna need is a piece of cardboard. I do suggest cardboard. You could use paper, um, but cardboard a little bit stiffer, a little bit better for templates. And then it's gonna have to have at least two factory straight edges on it. Um, so if you feel really good about cutting a straight edge on something, go for it, but that could affect the straightness of your brackets uh, at the end of the process. Uh, I recommend having one of the brackets with you that you'll be using to mount your curtain rod. You'll need a tape measure to make some measurements and some marks. You'll need a pen. Uh, I suggest as well a pair of scissors for cutting. You can use a safety knife if you're uh, skilled with that. So uh, last thing, something to use as a straight edge. I have a slat from a broken blind right here that I'm gonna be using as a straight edge. Um, but uh, anything that you have should work. The one recommendation I would make is that your straight edge should be at least as large as your bracket. So you see how I can totally uh, have my bracket there. Reason being is that part of the uh, process we're going to use the straight edge for will involve creating a sectioned off area where the bracket, you'll be able to trace it and mark your holes. So making sure this is big enough to center that bracket in the profile of is a good idea. So let's get started. Most people like to have their curtains and drapes uh, about six inch, four to six inches above their window and four to six inches out from their window. Uh, so two things about this is one, it's gonna make your windows look bigger, which is awesome, but that four to six inches above and four to six inches to the side of is going to let you also get the curtain all the way out of the window when you don't want the curtains to be hanging and disrupting the picture that is your view of the ocean that I'm sure everybody has. Everybody has a beach home, right? So um, I'm gonna go six inches. So I'm gonna take my tape measure here and I'm gonna start along one edge. And I'm measuring from that inside edge of the factory straight cuts. I'm gonna go and measure six inches in here. And then I'm gonna go up to the top I'm gonna go six inches, oops, six inches in there. And now I'll just take my straight edge, line it up, make a mark. Awesome, that's gonna be one of the lines that I cut. And it doesn't need to be exact, but the closer you get it, the better it'll be. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, if you're a perfectionist, then uh, this is a good time to try to be perfect. And then I'm going to go from this edge up six inches, and then over here, six inches. Okay. And we are about halfway done at this point. Again, you might want to slow down the video to see what I'm doing if you're getting lost at all, but it's okay. All right, so now I've got my area here. The next thing I'm going to do, if you can see my lines there, right? Awesome. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut out a little 90 degree section down here for where my corner of the window will be. Don't worry, at the end I am gonna show you uh, how I'm using and applying all these lines. And then I'll turn it the other direction. And I'll get that. Okay, so this section I'm gonna cut out. You see I kind of scribble it out there so that I don't get it confused with any other sections. Now, keep this in mind, I've come up two inches here. So here's my six inch line, I'm gonna come up two inches there. So let me take my straight edge again, line the inside edge. Trace the outside edge. Come to my other line. Line the inside edge. 
get it nice and straight on there. Trace the outside edge. Perfect. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut this out. I'm gonna cut this out. And this will be the top. And this will be the side. Just so I remember that as I'm using this template in my windows. And now the last part is, I'm going to take my bracket and I'm going to center it in this last little uh, quadrant here. So where this line, these lines here intersect with these lines, there's a square. And in that square, I'm gonna mark the holes for my bracket. Okay. There we go. Good to have a nice long pen for this. Awesome. So now if you can see that, I've just made a super easy, fast template for getting my brackets mounted. So I'm gonna do some cutting real quick and then we'll jump to a window and I'll show you how you position this on the window and how you go from there. And then last cut, and then we'll be able to uh, make some little holes and I don't actually have a window that needs. There we go. Awesome, so we've got our template. There it is. Perfect. The only other thing I'm gonna do on this is I am just going to take my pen and I'm gonna poke through. There we go. We have our template. Now let me show you how you use this template and um, how it'll really speed up the process of marking out your windows and pre-drilling. Okay, so here we are at our example window. Um, so first thing I wanna do, make sure I've got a pen or a pencil on me and then I'm gonna grab my template. So here's my template. Uh, I'm gonna start by getting it lined up in the top corner of the window with that little 90 degree section that I cut out first. And then I take my pencil, mark the holes that I made from my bracket in my template, mark that out. You'll see I already marked the hole where those go. And then when I'm doing the right side of the window, all I'm gonna do is take the template and flip it. And what that's gonna give you is really easy, really fast um, marking out your holes so that your, all your curtain rods in your house are symmetrical, they're level, and um, basically just making so there's a uniform appearance all the way through the house. So yeah, um, let me know if you uh, found this helpful.